Hi and welcome to the AdWords Editor video training tutorial course. This video training course is brought to you by ppccampaigngenerator.com. If you want to learn how to make paid search campaigns extremely fast and efficiently, visit ppccampaigngenerator.com to learn more. This set of video tutorials will show you step by step from start to finish no matter what your skill level is how to use the AdWords editor tool to make changes locally on your desktop computer and upload those changes to AdWords so you can optimize your paid search campaigns. To get started let's just download AdWords editor right now. I recommend going to Google typing in AdWords editor like so download it you can use this desktop application on a Windows or a Mac machine the current download version is 9.0.1 so that's what these video tutorials are going to be based on because that's the current version of AdWords editor you hit download and I'm not going to bore you with the steps and processes here, but essentially you run it, it installs, and once that's done installing, you probably want to go to your start menu, search for AdWords Editor, and if I were you, I would right click on it, create a pin to menu and a pin to desktop shortcut. And once you're done with that, I'm going to pause the video and then when I'm done with that process, I'll start the video again. I'm going to go to start, type in AdWords editor, and you can see this desktop icon. What I like to do is right click it and you say pin to taskbar if you want it to appear below. I also like to pin it to the start menu. Once that's done, you have an icon down here. This is what occurred when we pinned it to the taskbar. You double click it. The first thing you see is an add slash manage accounts dialog box. This is the very first thing you see right after you download AdWords editor. You click add account or you can add a draft account. Let me show you what Add a Draft Account does first. We click Add Draft Account, and then we would say Account 1, for example. Choose your currency. And what this is going to do is create a draft account. And what that means is this is an account you can create on your desktop and later take this account and all the information in it and upload it into AdWords Editor into your real account. So this is helpful when you want to start from scratch, create campaigns, ad groups, keywords, um, every type of setting you want, and then you can simply cut and paste or export this draft account into your actual account and upload the changes. So it's kind of a way just to say this is a rough draft type of account. And as you can see, I mean we can make we can add campaigns here. Click add campaign. Campaign 1, great. We can add another campaign, campaign 2. You can see them over here. And this is the tree view. If I click campaign number 1 and I go to ad groups, I can add an ad group here. And this is an ad group within campaign number one. We'll get into more detail about this later, but this is kind of the structure of how AdWords Editor works. Don't be confused, it might be confusing right now. But let's go up to File, Open Account, and we can see our draft account we just made, indicated by draft. But let's say we actually wanted to load an account that we have. You can click Add Account, Remember this password, hit next. And then you can select specific campaigns within your account. 
or you can download all of the campaigns. What a useful feature is, is you can select all the ones that are active, you can select all of them, none of them, or you can select all the paused ones. For this example, I will just download the PPC Campaign Generator campaign. And this dialog box appears, and it's downloading from my account all my campaigns, ad groups, keywords, placements, ads, um, everything. But as you can see, the account was successfully downloaded. It shows you the groupings, also known as the ad groups, and it shows you the campaign. And I think this will wrap it up for this video tutorial. I've showed you how to open an account, how to add an account, and if I want to remove an account, all I have to do is select it, click Remove Accounts, hit OK, and it's gone. In the next video tutorial, I'll show you more detail, so stay tuned.